Hello everyone, it's me, Mrs. Gronert, and today we are going to learn how to count back to subtract. Let's get started. What do we do when we want to count back to subtract? Well, we start with the first number in the equation. That's the minuend. And for this equation, it's the number nine. Then we mark the number nine with a big dot on the number line like this. You can do this with me. After we mark the minuend, we look at the second number in the equation. That's called the subtrahend. And for this problem, it's the number five. Now we know that's the number we need to count back to subtract. Let's do that now. One, two, three, four, five. Where did we land? We landed on the number four. So we circle the four and we write it into the equation. So now we know nine take away five equals four. Great job. Let's try another one. Here we go. What do we do first? Well, first we look at the minuend. That's the number six. So we mark the number six on the number line with a big dot. Then we look at the subtrahend. That's the number three. And we know that we need to count back three to subtract. So let's do that now. Ready? One, two, three. Where did we land? We landed on the number three. So we circle the three and then we write that number into the equation. You're doing a great job with this. Let's try another one. Okay, first, you got it. We look at the minuend or the first number in the equation and that's the number five. Then we mark the number line with that number. Next, we look at the subtrahend. That's the number four. Do you remember what to do now? Yes, you count back four to subtract. Let's do that now. One, two, three, four. Where did we land? We landed on the number one. So we circle the number one and we write that number into the equation. Now we know five take away four equals one. Oh, you're doing a great job with this. Let's try another one. Okay, what do we do first? Yes, we look at the minuend. That's the number nine. And we mark that with a big dot on the number line. Great. Then, yes, we look at the subtrahend. That's two. And now we know we need to, yes, you got it. Count back two to subtract. Let's do that now. One, two. Where did we land? We landed on the number seven. So now we know nine take away two equals seven. Excellent job. Okay, here's another problem for us. What do we do first? You got it. We look at the minuend. That's the number 10. Then we mark that number on the number line. You got it. Next. We look at the subtrahend. Oh, you are doing a great job with this. And now we know we need to count back four to subtract. Let's do that now. One, two, three, four. Where did we land? Yes, we landed on the number six. So now we write that number into the equation and we know 10 take away four equals six. That's great. Okay, here's another problem for us. What do we do first? Yep, we look at the minuend. That's the number eight. Then we mark that number on the number line with a big dot. After that, we look at the subtrahend. That's the number six. And now we know that we need to count back six to subtract. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, where did we land? Yes, we landed on the number two. So we circle the two and finally we mark that number into the equation. So now we know eight take away six equals two. Good work. Now 
Can you think how do you count back to subtract? First, you look at the menu end. Then, you mark it with a big dot on the number line. After that, you look at the subtrahend and you count back to subtract. Then you circle where you land and finally write it into the equation. That's how we count back to subtract. Now you know how to count back to subtract. Go home. Tell your mom, tell your dad, tell all your friends how you count back to subtract. I had a lot of fun learning with you today, and I sure am glad you came to visit me. I hope to see you again very soon.